lovelies. Whoa. <laughs> Hello lovelies, welcome to today's video. We're just gonna be going to my mum's house and help with a few house jobs. Um, I've got Chris here as well, um, as we need a bit of muscle to be fair. Me and mum are not very strong. Um, I'm just, just such a weakling, so I won't be able to move anything. So luckily we got Chris and we got Shadow in the back there. Hello. And we're gonna take him out for a walk first before we get anything done. We're helping out my mum with her house because she's hopefully going through something exciting soon and she needs the house to be in top condition. Um, but there is a lot to do in the house and I think she's a bit overwhelmed with it. So we're just gonna give her a little hand and see how far we get today. Enjoy. We're finding a lot of we're finding a lot of creepy crawlies in here. Right. Any idea what that is? Oh my god, that's creepy as hell. It could well have been there for ten years. <laughs> oh my god, that could have been there for ten years. Wow. Well. Oh, oh my god, there's another biggie. Not sure if you can see it. So we're getting rid of all of this. We've got a big door that's been kept here for how many years? Um, probably at least three. At least three years. And this is from the bathroom door since she had that changed. Then we've got lots of random mats on the floor, if you can see them there, that have just been in the garden for years, so we're just going to get rid of them because they're not even useful anymore. Then lots of rubbish bags and recycling bags from years ago that they don't, don't even accept, I don't think. And this tarpaulin with the Mr. Horrible Spider in it. Oh my god, look at it, it's horrible. Lots of the recycling bins, the food bins, and there's stuff in there that there's no point even going through. And over there. And this was in there because this is like it's like an underlay that was left here when mum had her flooring done um, but it's been here for years so because it's quite a hard material and, and looks waterproof we are going to hopefully use it to cover the top of this so that we can put all of her recycling in here and anything that can, needs to be kept dry um, so yeah hopefully we can put that on top of there so that we can keep it all waterproof happy yeah cool
gasoline go off? Even if it's from the... I don't even know when this was. Yeah, I know if it ain't just one, but it's like genuinely. It's one from my home. It go off, but yeah, I, I would say it's probably a bit ripe. It's fine, it's perfectly all right. Can I just say, you've got somebody else's medication here from 2011. out all of the cupboard here and it's all empty with all of this stuff there for us to organize um now this is all of the expired medication that we're going to take to the pharmacy because they have a confidential bin there where expired medication goes so i'm going to take that when we go home and that'll be out of the house but two big bags full came out of that little cupboard Okay, so here is the final result of the medicine cabinet. We've got one spare shelf, woo! Um, so we can put, we can store some stuff there for whatever we find later on. My mum had a lot of these, a lot of these capped tins that she had for from her cat, obviously with her cat food. And she is very purposeful in that she 
won't get rid of something if it does have a second purpose. Um, so she's very happy to use them as her containers for here. She's very purposeful so she won't let anything go to waste if it can be used for a different purpose and that's exactly why she keeps a lot of things. So today we are doing these shelves. Now there's a lot of stuff in all of them. There's a torch, there's sewing kits, beads, vodka, <laughs> um, and bits and bobs up there. Some of it's decorative, some of it's probably just been put there because there's no real place for them. So we're gonna go through these. So the one just by here, and then there is also one by here um, that has got a few decorative stuff on it. And I think it's just a bit overloaded and just looks a bit cluttered. So we are going to go through all of it and make it look a bit more decorative. See? Why? <laughs> I like picking up things so carefully in case like a spider running out of it or something. <laughs> yeah. Look how quick we're getting it done and it's been, these have been here for what, years? Yeah. Look how quick we're doing it, isn't it? Absolutely.
I'm, I'm doing these, sorting these things out without just asking you all. Yeah. Well, the thing is, because it's your stuff, yeah. you can do what you want with it, but there is a line that obviously I would be like, there's no reason to keep that. Why are you keeping it or whatever? Yeah. But I just want you to be honest with yourself. Yeah. I don't want to have to like bully you into getting rid of something no, I that you I'm really shouldn't have. Yeah, that's fine. So, but you know, the fact that you're doing it by yourself and hopefully means that you're being honest and you're really being, yeah, um, not cutthroat, but like, you're really taking it seriously. Don't even know what that was, but they are. Good, well done. No, I am I am proud that you are like making you are chucking things That's away, you're recycling things. As long as I know that when I leave you're not gonna get it back out of the bin. No, I'm not Because <laughs> I know that's what you've done in the past. to clean we only have these wipes at the moment so So we finally finished doing these lovely shelves. They were full of lots of random stuff like receipts, papers, stuff that mum's collected over time and just shoved on there with no rhyme or reason really. And I think they look so much better now. We've gone for like a glass painted theme because mum has a lot of these lovely decorative jars and glasses that she's collected, like I said, over the years that they've just been stored away somewhere and forgotten about and not really shown on display so i think these are so so lovely and also we've kind of tied it in with this side as well so this one was handmade um this used to be part of a lantern that had this in it so this went over like that but we can't fit this in as well because the shelving is not tall enough. So we just took this apart and displayed it as it's in its own right. And I think it looks so beautiful. It fills up the shelving a lot nicer. That can go and anyway, it's a bit rusted anyway, so it's probably best that we don't really keep it. And we thought we'd break it up a bit um, because it might be a bit too much with all of the glass and this elephant really fills up the space for me and then these are exactly the same as the middle one up there but I thought it would link the, both of the shelves together that part of it is here and part of it is there. I'm really happy with the end result so is mum luckily and if she finds nicer stuff that she wants to put there instead of these ones then that's completely fine. Mum actually decorated this herself and I think it's beautiful from an old Kenko jar um, but again, because the shelving is so short, 
it just covers it all and because it's so clear it kind of doesn't show through as nice as it would be so we're going to find a different place for that and possibly paint the top of it that'll look a bit nicer and that can go somewhere else these don't really go with the theme that we had so we'll have to find another place for them and we'll see you in the next one bye